Telecom software infrastructure company Netnumber is expanding its capabilities with an eye towards growth in private networks, announcing the acquisitions of Siren Communications and TD Mobile. Siren Communications provides mobile core network products and services for private networks, while mobile virtual network operator TD Mobile provides secure connections for both private and public entities across the globe. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and to provide us with an update on NetNumber's activities, I'm joined by Steve Legg, who is Chief Operating Officer at NetNumber. Hello, Steve. Very good to see you again. Now, this last year has deeply impacted industries and companies around the world. What has NetNumber done to survive the pandemic? Yeah, hi, Guy. Great to talk to you again. Uh, it's uh, it's been an interesting uh, what is more than uh, a year now I guess for net number in terms of uh, our response to the pandemic uh, more recently but prior to that uh, we're, we're very fortunate in that uh, and and maybe last time we spoke I may have mentioned we uh, we'd started an agile transformation back in 2018 and and this was a really uh, uh, aimed at uh, meeting the demand uh, that we were seeing at that time. Uh, and, and being able to scale, but uh, it, it really did set us up in terms of our response uh, and our ability to both uh, uh, weather the storm of COVID, but then to be able to flourish in the second half of last year. So uh, really that agile transformation was really critical to us uh, through 2020. Uh, that is something that we've uh, largely completed now and, and seen great results. Uh, and, and it's really let us, uh, uh, not only deal with the growth, the demand, uh, deal with the complexity of, of cloud native uh, infrastructure, uh, but also meet the challenges of uh, you know, the, the, the unknown challenges that were being thrown to us uh, and, and everyone else during, uh, during 2020. Now, as you mentioned, last time we spoke to you on Telecom TV, you announced the architecture evolution of the Titan platform to Titanium. How's that going? That's uh, going great. Uh, we um, again, you know, big uh, hats off to the the workforce here at Netnumber as we adapted to uh, during 2020 to remote working uh, challenge for everyone. But uh, we're able to maintain all of our deliveries throughout the year on time, and we actually uh, GA'd our, our titanium platform in in Q4 last year. We also uh, released the first of our our 5G apps uh, in Q4 as well. So. Uh, so that was wonderful, and uh, that was followed up with our first sales orders of titanium, and uh, we'll see first customer deliveries uh, in Q1 and then uh, through into Q2. So going going really well there, and uh, uh, really uh, that was a, an exclamation point on what was a, a record second half for net number last year. Very good to hear. And Steve, as the world starts its recovery process, how is NetNumber set up for 2021 and beyond? Well, it's been a, a fascinating start. I, I think if you would have uh, looked back or, or, or thinking back to this time last year, you know, the pandemic was really taking hold uh, 12 months ago. And to be able to uh, think back to that time and now be in a position where we came out of a, a, a record second half uh, in, in 2020, uh, and then to be able to announce uh, two acquisitions at the, at the beginning of this year is, is quite amazing. So our, uh, our announcement earlier this week of uh, the acquisition of both Siren Communications and TD Mobile really uh, pivotal in, in how we're going to go forward with uh, not only our product portfolio, so getting deeper into the, the mobile core, uh, certainly the team uh, that we've acquired uh, is 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 key to that as well. So uh, a, a great team there. Uh, but then to be able to bring the services capabilities with uh, with TD Mobile and uh, be able to provide authentication and roaming capabilities along with the infrastructure for private uh, uh, private networks is really uh, really key. So we feel good about 2021. Uh, new platform, new acquisitions, uh, new capabilities there into the the private networks market. And as we know. Uh, you know, these things are, are, are important to, uh, to all of our customers globally. So, uh, yeah, really excited about how we're going to go forward in, in 2021. So, Steve, it's looking like private networks will be a, a key growth area for operators as they can provide 
controlled, secure access to specific industries and groups. Yeah, that's absolutely true, Guy. I think uh, yeah, we've had uh, discussions with our customers over the last uh, over the last uh, year, year and a half, uh, and and hearing about the requirements with private networks really. Uh, reinforced our, our decision to move ahead and uh, uh, with uh, with Siren and TD Mobile. So I, I think um, importantly, our customers looking not only to provide 5G solutions for uh, for consumer, but moving into enterprise, the the deployment of private networks. As we're seeing you now, a lot of publicity around that, but I think it will become uh, mainstream. And the the line between what is uh, yeah what is a public network and a private network, I think, will blur. Uh, into the future, and and so for us, this is strategically very important, and 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 also, uh, yeah, really great to be able to uh, now go out and talk to our customers about meeting not only the the core network component uh, demands that uh, they ask of us, but also the, the the private network components as well. And the transformation of NetNumber into an agile cloud software solution provider obviously resonates well with your customers. Are they also embracing the benefits of cloud native? Yeah, I think the industry's uh, on that journey, and it's going to take. Uh, you know, some people are uh, uh, further along that path than others, but I, I think it's uh, there's no dispute about the benefits of, of moving to uh, you know, web scale technologies, cloud native uh, architectures essential for future architectures with 5G and beyond, uh, but also the benefits that it brings to the, the workforce and the ability to, I think, leave behind some of the challenges of uh, the telecom infrastructure of the past. So uh, network modernization, but also operations modernization uh, really seems to be something that's being embraced. And, and it will take time for uh, uh, you know, some operators to, to move down that path. This is, uh, there's a lot to learn here. There's a lot of uh, not only technology, but a lot of uh, operational processes that, that go along with that. Uh, but seeing uh, not only the, uh, the the benefits of this internally, but being able to talk to our customers uh, about that uh, and be able to share our journey, uh, it, it certainly is uh, is resonating. So, uh, yeah, this has been uh, transformational for NetNumber uh, in many, many different ways and, and uh, uh, fitting, as I said at the beginning, uh, the, the, the COVID issues of 2020 uh, really set us up well to be able to, uh, to handle that. So uh, absolutely uh, uh, very happy that we went down that path. Great. Steve, as ever, thanks for joining us on the program and for sharing your views and opinions. Great. Thanks very much, Guy. Appreciate it. Yeah.